was Mother's Day, obviously a Sunday. I think it was around 10 in the morning. I was cutting on the CNC right about here. And out of the corner of my eye, there's flames coming out of there. Shit. Running the hose. I run to the hose, had to turn on the valve because it was shut up because winter in Minnesota, that's what you do. Otherwise, you have pipes that freeze. Come back up, turn on the faucet. No end on the hose. I have the quick connects and without a sprayer on there, I will get no water coming out. I then attempt to go to the garage to grab the sprayer. That wasn't happening. There's black smoke just rolling out. Amy called the fire department. My neighbor Bill called the fire department. He starts moving his vehicles away from his garage out under the lawn. We moved ours out under the street only to have to move them again so we could have all the fire department and everything there. Outside that was pulled out by the firefighters after they put out the fire. This is one pile. Underneath this tarp is the CNC and another table with tools on it. We will send pictures of this. All of this was pulled out by the firefighters after the fire was already put out. Everything outside of the garage, as you will see, was pulled out by the firefighters after the fire was extinguished. CNC was located in this general area, actually where the arrow was pointing. It was connected to a dust collector that was connected to the ceiling. And the line ran over to this area. Dust collector was at this point, which is where we believe was the point of ignition. We were told that we should not go into the garage until the adjuster gets here. After waiting a couple days, I said enough of that. Came into the garage only to find all my, all the tools, all my drawers, uh, toolbox, all the drawers along the back wall, all full of water. Oh. Having to wait so long, now my drawers full of water. Could have addressed this sooner. Meters. All my sockets, all my wrenches, all my squares. Things that took a lifetime to acquire, just sitting rusting away. Not a good feeling. That full of water? Oh, fuck. Everything there shot. Oh my goodness. It was less than ideal. Order! Finally get all the contents out. Well, okay, maybe not all the contents out. I don't think I ever had all of the contents out. There's just too much to get out. So we got most of it out and then I started taking out all the plywood and off the ceiling, the walls, but the ceiling's house the worst. That wet insulation with 50 years of dust 
mixed in with it, just dripping on you. Oh, just miserable.
Father's Day weekend. Just brought the Manitou home from work. And at this point, I think we had two pods in the driveway. So there wasn't a whole lot of room, so I had to boom up. And coming around the corner, in the back I see the pole. <laughs> Neighbors come out, Amy comes out. Uh-oh. I mean, I knew what happened right away. And I was just praying that pole wouldn't snap, number one, or that the neighbors wouldn't lose their power. Fortunately, it was just me. XL guy comes here. It's a Friday night about 6 o'clock. And uh, just grumpy as all get up. Okay, yeah, well, took it out. So what are, what are we going to do about it? Can we leave it on the ground somehow? Because I'm going to have to bury it anyways. Because the we couldn't even, when, once we got to building it, we couldn't have the metal on the top because it would have hit the power going to the house which is a design concern from the get-go as far as how tall we can make the garage anyways I don't know what the dude did if he went and had a one -y, but he went to his truck he came back coolest cat there could be I'm like this is a different person anyways I thought for sure that was gonna be a healthy build but nope there's no charge sweet the demo I had someone give me the advice of hey why don't you call the Providence house which is a sober living house here in Hastings and it was an ideal scenario they were looking to get out of the house they can't really have a job yet and who doesn't like money they were of huge help
after all the walls are down, scrubbing the floor and stand on what I thought was a power that was shut off, it was not. I was barefoot, plus there's like a metal pipe around it. Boy, did I get some voltage on that. And I only did it once, I put something over it so it didn't happen again.